so okay so 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 I guess you know high level so far mm. uh, the answer is to that question mm. make sure that the value proposition that you provide to your service providers mm. is more than what they can be able to get on their own nice because if i if i provide like a stable income for instance yeah stable income nice working conditions benefits when you think about messing it up by contracting on the side you like this is going to take away time where i should be using uh, to service my platform customers yeah. if i service you mm. so you know, if you do that mm. then you can have a platform business and maybe that's why black coffee in, in invested way i read somewhere that he's a shareholder Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Nine to Life. You can't start it like it's a normal show. What do you mean? Like you can't do the normal intro. Can you do the intro actually? I think last time I did it. You did it. Okay. Welcome to Nine to Life. This is the podcast you do. <laughs> this is the podcast you do when you don't want to do podcasts. Welcome guys. It's another reflection episode. We are officially on episode 20 now. 20 episodes are out. Uh, and we we thought we touch base with you guys every now and then, yeah. Uh, just to share where we are at, so we can gossip. We can gossip about the. Case. We're even sitting in the corner, so now it's appropriate. <laughs> this is the gossip corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we did it the f- the first time that we had an episode like this. It was the get to know us episode. Mm-hmm. So please go down and watch that if you haven't, because I think that's the most important episode. Because it lets you understand everything else that we do. Then we had it the second time uh, where we're reflecting on the 11 episodes. The before. first 11 episodes, yeah. yeah. Um, our first 11 episode, And now we just finished the Women's Month uh, yes, series. We, are, we just finished 20 episodes. Crazy. Um, is it just we can't even say just anymore because it's been quite some it's time 20 now, now. yeah, yeah. It, it's quite a lot we finished women's day when episode 17 18 yeah, it's 20 17. episodes more than i thought would do <laughs> <laughs> no well, because you know there are all these crazy plans and then we talk we talk we talk and then you don't buy a thing yeah and then nothing ever materialized and then yeah. five years down the line you like it when someone else does it. Yes. You know, Swiper. Swiper, the temi- the delivery service around Temisa. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Just before that launched. We were like, maybe. Nali No, we, we were, oh, we were, yeah, we mm. even teamed up with a, with a thingy, with a web, web developer. And but I aren't think. Aren't you a web developer, my brother? Um, no, this is high, high, oh. yeah. These, they, <laughs> so you are low grade. can only take you that far. <laughs> Actually, funny enough, my finish your story, we'll talk yeah. about it. Up. So we thought about that and we were going to branch it out across mm. the townships. Mm. We had a beautiful idea mm. and we're just trying to come up with the funds and then Cypher came. Okay, but that's different though. And Cypher came. No, it's I don't different know. to what you were saying because I think what you was, or how I took what you were saying was, we we talk about it, we plan it, and then we just leave it, oh, and like then the someone group. else actually comes with. Yeah. yeah, I remember I had an idea like, yeah, I was young, maybe six, seven, or something like okay. that. I had an idea, yeah, uh, attaching a a buzzer to your keys because my mom would always lose her keys. Okay, every time we had to go to work. Finding a, like finding a key was another activity. Your mom is all. like me. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I am mom is me. You see, so I told her, I was like, someone must invent something where you just attach something like uh, something that rings like a speaker oh, to yeah, your key. And then, you... and then the remote, maybe you, you paste it on your fridge or something. It's maybe funny you how you say someone. Something. Someone. Like, you know, I'm explaining myself problem. from the process. And my mom was like, you should do it. When you grow up, do it. I was like, ah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. And then I saw the thing a couple of years ago. Like, there's a thing you can buy on Tick a lot mm, now. I've seen it on my... Uh, like, you just press it. Us. Yes. Yeah. You just press it. It makes the sound. You find your keys. You know which one I had? Yeah. Uh, when I was a teenager, mm. 
um i used to generations yes. so it was as when media and i always thought i would have a media come well <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Uh, yes, but yeah, I I thought I'd have a serious big a media serious company, one, yes. and an idea I had mm. was having billboards inside taxis. Ah, so and while now the people are traveling, and now it came. And, and, and I remember I was stuck at. Mom. I was stuck at. How do we refresh? Because when your month runs out, how do we refresh? And then I thought, yo, okay, we'd have guys at every taxi rank Is changing their around? CD. Oh, no, 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 no. And then uh, internet. Was, yeah. then, well, there was internet. I just don't know why I didn't think of it as a viable way. Because yeah. now I, w- I was just thinking, all right, we have Temisa guys. They carry the CDs. And they and come then, and insert them. Yeah, they, they insert them. That that's the CD for that month. Oh, wait. You want it to be like an ad ad, not a billboard. Like an ad, a playing... Yeah, like so there'd be a screen oh, in the taxis. Is that how it is now in the taxis? I saw one company doing it, and then it was also doing Wi-Fi. And then I the... Electronic billboards, not like video ads. That's what I thought. Really? Yes. But Rajambi, sorry, we haven't been inside taxis in a while. <laughs> 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 yeah, it, yeah. it is what it is because what can we see? the other alternative my idea was also to do that like well the rapping was already being done rapping cause the, 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 the rapping adverts then I was like what's ad- a rapping advert no? where they like where you see a car and it uh, uh, like a taxi and it has like oh uh, okay okay yeah okay, okay. so that what, has always been there yeah that has always so, been there yeah. but I was like ah we do this then we also do that and I just kept getting stuck. And I don't know what it is. Um, well, well, I don't know if it's a black child thing. But we have these ideas and we have no one to talk. Because who's going to make it come Implemented, true? Implemented, yeah? Yeah, like who's going to make this idea come true? That's, that's an important... Or is it a lack of initiative? It's not initiative because... Or maybe it is initiative. I, I don't know what it is, actually. Mm. Because the ideas are there. Mm. Uh, we just don't know how to maybe scale them. It's like because now even think of, think about think back to that time. Mm. What were the steps that you were gonna follow to make that happen? Who do you speak to? Where do you go? What in it hindsight? Like? Yes. With what I know now, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, but at that time, at the time, you don't know where, like, where to even start. Who, where do I go? Yeah. Do I who go do to you even chi- speak like to? who do I? Uh... You see, hey, but that would have been a tough. It, it's a tough. It's tough for me to imagine doing formalizing something as informal as the taxi ring. Or oh, people are doing it now. People are doing it. Um, I mean, there's other dynamics that you need to do with it that are not on paper. What do you mean? Oh, oh what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot other of, dynamics. a lot of white people are doing it. Are they? Successful. White owned companies are killing okay. the tax. I, I mean, okay. maybe it's what you're when, saying. We're not in there, so we don't see it. When you buy a taxi, yeah. um, it's it's very hard to finance it through because, uh, yeah, SA Taxi is killing the game. You know, they rates. offer interest, yeah, close to 30%. <laughs> you lied. I'm telling you. 30%. And this was when rates were low. Remember the COVID when rates were low? People were paying like 26, 27% interest then because no one wants to finance them. Yo, I was complaining about 12.1 now last week. No, no, no. 12 is nothing. 30. 30. That's what, remember they were saying, I end up paying like me and someone. The example was, I go buy a taxi for a million. Someone goes, buys an, a, a three series for a million. But I pay double what they pay in terms of my, my installment. It's the interest rate. Can the risk justify it? I think that's, I mean, I mean, think about it if it was your money and you had to finance a taxi, a drive on Gukas, all the time. Wouldn't you say that's a high risk sort of profile? But high risk for what? Because um, theft, there's insurance. High risk for, because your only risk Remember, is I can't, can rely, you I can't rely on insurance. You rely on insurance. I can as a financier. No, but you do. Doesn't the insu- the insurance pay 
the no, right. if you take up the insurance. Mm-hmm. So if you take up the insurance upon purchase of the vehicle, mm-hmm. yes, that's the rule. But if two months later you cancel it, you cancel I have it. No I, I have no way of finding out. I have no recourse. So my risk is independent to the risk that you face. You have your risk and I have my risk. Mm. And there are certain sectors that won't really stick to insurance. You understand? Mm, That's what like, I'm saying. Yeah, no. Anyways, to talk, to talk about the taxi. <laughs> I don't rate, know how we got here. And the, <laughs> and the, yes. guys, like, what I was thinking a lot of is math. Math. Yeah. Okay, that's our episode. Uh, that's our, that's one of our guests. I'm not counting. Okay, I'm counting. I don't count the episodes. I counting, I make, we make the episodes count. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I was thinking 18. about him and... 18, yes. Is it 18? 18. And this crazy thing, they are... Yeah, you're the accountant. <laughs> it's, it's important. <laughs> you're numbers. The, you're, the, you're, you're the auditor. Numbers. This to make sense. Numbers. You know, um, Gassi stories. Mm. And who is telling them, you know? Mm. Um, That's very important. And he's doing it... It's a thankless task, right? Yes. You're basically carrying <laughs> cameras where you can get around. Be, yeah. On top of that. You'll be a classic superstar. Yeah. But where it counts, where you're supposed to actually capitalize. Yeah. And then a company like, F- uh, well, an organization like FIFA yes. uses some of his footage. Yes. And yes. he didn't make that footage for FIFA. Mm-mm. He was just talking. He was he just was telling classic stories. And... Tell the stories and they'll come. Mm. That actually is a big motivation f- for this podcast. For the podcast. Like, yeah. let us tell the stories. This one's Let's little... tell the stories <laughs> and, and they will come. You know? Yeah, yes. Look, Meth's Meth episode was very... It was very close to home for me because... Oh, because he lives close to our, <laughs> our homes. <laughs> That too. that too, but you know, Meth is someone that we grew up with when we were still hustling and trying to make things mm. happen, you know, and seeing us now on the other side of the dreams that we had back because then. Because we lived. <laughs> we abandoned hustling. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, we're not abandoned. We, we hustled in a different lane. No, we abandoned hustling. We had this conversation, my brother, in the first ah, episode. Ah, brother, but we just said hustling. <laughs> We had this conversation in the first episode. It's not that we abandoned it. It's that we, we're shifting to another lane where the requirements are different. Mm, sell out. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it is. If mm-hmm. you get sick for a month, <laughs> your sell out doesn't change. If I get if, sick if for a month. If you get sick for a month, only speculate for a month. Yes. <laughs> Can you 25? Yeah. Or whatever day you get paid. Yeah. Look clock at the same amount. And you're not hustling. Yeah, I'm gonna shift over to another oh, lane. Like, hey, it's mama, another you, lane. you have flu now. It changes. No, what I'm saying is I've moved to another lane. Oh, you're a hustler. Where it allows Are you a hustler? I think so, yes. I think so. You hustle in different ways. I think there's a there's a street hustler. Okay. And then there's a business, there's a there's a small business hustler. Mm-hmm. And then even the people that are sitting at the top of organizations are hustling. Okay. How do they get new business? What does a business development manager do? <laughs> Well, I don't know any voices. <laughs> anyway, that's an inside joke. <laughs> Who knows? But he hustles. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, he does. yeah. But you're essentially that's what hustling. That's partner you're essentially, in, a, in a law firm. Done. Yeah, you're hustling for new exactly. clients, hustling to it's close. Just a different lane. Hustling, okay. Hey, you don't do anything it's to call different yourself a hustler. But yeah, you're you yeah. saying the best <laughs> episode. Yeah, no, no, no. The next episode was, was one of my favorites as well. Mm. And it's so funny how our favorite, or my favorite, let me talk about myself. The ones that I enjoy the most or the ones that are closest to my heart are not necessarily the ones that do well in terms of numbers. You know how we think, yes, this, this is this a one. Yeah. yeah, this is a good and, and then the audience. And then the audience is like, Mm-mm, not for us. <laughs> <laughs> because, I don't know, because the best performing episode is now while well, it's a celebrity. You know. Oh, can I Jafta? Yeah, Jafta, Jafta over overtook now. now. Yeah. Did, did he? Yeah, he he did. Oh, he did. He did. He did. And ah, that's unfair advantage. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's unfair advantage. That's like obvious. But I didn't think Neo would perform well. True. You know, um, and it's not because there was anything missing from the episode. There was anything missing from it's just that it's just we didn't it's a think... software episode, and and then there's the crazy. I I, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, the I, ones I, I that's... how you guys work. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, that's the myth episode. Yeah. Another episode that that I like. I I, I think about the Tabiso episode a lot. Okay. Because it exposed. I like the fact that it's such a different, such a different career path. Mm. That even if you had given me twenty guesses for me to say what could you possibly be, a book publisher would not have been in there anyway. Yeah. Anyway, yet it's a thing, and. <clears throat> What was a bit, I don't know if I should call it disappointing, but what didn't sit well is that when she was saying, you know, um, it's not lucrative in South Africa. It, it always sucks to hear that in South Africa qualifier because it shows that inherently the problem is not the career itself. It's just mm -hmm. that we have a different culture which, which could benefit from having such a career in the limelight if, if it was a thriving career. Mm. I'm, I mean, when a publisher does well, mm. the entire country is benefiting because everyone is reading. Yeah. Everyone is, is reading and is, they're reading different things than, you know. Then what do we say when Exclusive Books is opening two more branches? I, I, I mean more, more branches and I say two more because uh, in my area, two were opened in the past five months. Look, the, the book industry, or I, don't, I don't know if it's even called the book industry, but it's a value chain, mm. right? And exclusive books is right at the end. Yeah. So, and, and he said, she said this as well. There are a few dominant players. Mm. And with dominant players, it means, it means if I want to succeed in that market, I can't come with a unique value proposition. I must assimilate yes. to whatever is happening. Which means we never get to benefit from the diversity of stories that we have as a, as a country. And what she said as well mm. is that I remember her exact quote was the crazy thing I do mm. is that I published de uh, debut writers. And yes, yeah, she spoke about how. Maybe from a business point of view, someone needs to talk to her about that uh, because it's a thankless task and whatnot. Look, if you can solve that problem, the problem that she's facing. Mm you'd be a multi, multi-billionaire because every industry has that, that risk. Think about it. Um, Muremi, my brother in, I think 20 years ago, whatever, when, when he was in varsity, <laughs> I don't think he, he said had a old. business. No, listen, mm -hmm. he had a business where he, it was almost like, it was a, the early makings of a platform business, right? He goes to people around the Kasi and mm -hmm. says, I have a gardening service. Ne? He goes and then he becomes the, mid, not the middleman, but he's the one that provides the, he's the, like the, he's the face of the business, mm. right? He goes and finds the customers and then he finds the workers. Yeah. And then on a weekly basis, the workers are supposed to be rotating, cutting each other's, cutting the grasses for, for the people. Mm -hmm. The problem becomes once you've made the connection, yes. how do you stop the two from contracting? I struggle with that quite it's, a lot. This is what I'm saying. Anyone that can solve that, because it's the same thing with Tabis, all right? Mm. Once she's made the connection between this author and the, the public audience. And, the, and the industry, how does she make sure that even when this guy gets big, she mm. continues to read from that thing? Anyone that'll solve that problem will be a multi billionaire <laughs> Multi-trillion, you'll be the first trillionaire, actually. Yeah, because I earth. mean, as much as people complain about middle men and mm. and middle women mm. um they carry a lot of the risk of the relationship they do and i am making sure mm. i'm putting my back mm. on the line mm. to say that you can deliver you can do the work i'm yes. putting my back on your the line to say that you name. can pay yes and yes it's your reputation yeah. it's your name yes um and once i know for sure mm. i no longer wanna pay for that assurance that I got from you as Bonisi. Because mm. Bonisila was the middleman, I guess, and I know Bonisila knows people that can get it done. Yeah. But once I know the person myself, mm. this premium of you being Bonisile, I don't want to pay it anymore. I'll go straight to the source. No, because I... In in my business, in my... Is it still a side hustle? If it's... <laughs> well, that's a side hustle. <laughs> I don't know. Man. But like, in my I business, know, like. we constantly have that fear. Mm that once we give someone a coat mm. and they're there roaming around talking to the staff, 
Yes, yes. Can they yes, not yes. say you've got the space to do this and that yeah. in your backyard? Of course. You know. But that's what happens though. We know that's what happens because that's what and we, we do. And we do it. Exactly. Well. <laughs> exactly. It's nice when you go it. get your car service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like, hey, you find God. someone, oh, I know this one works. Yeah. Right. Let me take his numbers. Exactly. Yeah. So you know what happens. Yeah, but I'm it's too just small. That... <laughs> <laughs> you can use all the business. <laughs> yeah, I, could, yeah, I could use every last cent. I could use every last cent. Uh, I, I don't know how, that's what I'm saying. Anyone that can solve that problem of making sure that when you make the connection between people, Mm. You continue to, especially if you, if that's your business. To, yeah. To connect people. I think it's riskier with repeat businesses because with my business, I solve a problem that if you're having it, it a, um, a lot of times. You have a bigger problem. Yeah, you're looking for a bigger problem. <laughs> <laughs> actually. Yes, you've got actually, a bigger problem. Actually, actually, no, don't talk about, don't go where you want to go. Actually, I know where you want to go. I'm just saying. Don't you, go there. You know, so it's one of those things <laughs> where... You'll need us once every four exactly. years, hopefully. If ever, yeah. Yeah, yes. if, if ever, yeah, if you, ever, you know, yes. so we don't have that problem. But yeah. imagine if we were... A gardening service. A gardening a plumbing service, service. Plumbing, plumbing you know, yeah. Cleaning. Servicing. The same with sweep, sweep, sweep south. Sweep south. Yeah. I called a lady one. I, call, I used the service once to make the connection. I let Sweet South do all the vetting, all the training. Once they've done it, the lady that comes to my house, I say, hey, man. I want you to come next week again. Just give me your number. We'll speak directly. I don't want to play Sweet South anymore. <laughs> you know, we once tried that. You tried what? Um, there was a lady we found on Sweet South, and she was the lady for our area, I think, because we got her more than once. Oh, now they... And okay, yeah. They are very professional, mm -hmm. but we Sweet South. So we were like... We need you to come take care of Manarona, mm -hmm. maybe on a permanent basis. Mm -hmm. The code we got from that lady. I was like, this is very soup southy. This is a Wait, soup. so she she was she gave you a quote to say, ah, oh, it's yeah. fine, I can do it. And but... she's like, I make so much money from this app that uh, and it simplifies uh, my life. I I know what to do. You pay for it on the app that I wouldn't even like, I find it very hard to do side job. I don't know. Have you had better luck with uh, I've never stealing people from Sweep South, my brother? Not from Sweep South per se. Sweep but South, I you know can still come people. on as a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sweep South has, 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 cracked, has cracked the formula there. Yeah. Because I know people that have stolen people from these agencies. You know agencies? Agencies all the time. Yeah. I know people that have stolen people. I don't know of anyone that has stolen someone from Sweep South. But Kore Sweep South knows... You tried mm. more than once. No, no, we just tried okay. once. Yeah, no, they've, they've cracked the formula then. Yeah. <laughs> they know how to make it happen because, jeez, the person themselves said, look, yeah, you're going to take me out of this comfort zone. Yes. This is how much you're going you to pay for it. Me. I'm like, oh, there ah, goes 60% of my salary. Ah, <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, so, so I guess, you know, high level so far. Mm. Uh, the answer is to that question, mm. make sure that the value proposition that you provide to your service providers mm. is more than what they can be able to get on their own. Because nice. if, I, if I provide like a stable income, for instance, yeah. stable income, nice working conditions, benefits. When you think about messing it up by contracting on the side, you're like, this is going to take away time where I should be using uh, to service my platform customers. Yeah. If I service you, mm. so you know, if you do that, mm. then you can have a platform business. And maybe that's why Black Coffee in, in, invested. Where? I read somewhere that he's a shareholder in Sweep South. In Sweep South? Yeah, he bought shares. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wrong me if I'm that's correct. I, I don't know. The yeah, people yeah, in the yeah. comment section will. But, yeah, will but let I us actually know. got it from a credible source. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. Yeah. For sure. No, well, they, they really did crack the formula. How do we there. get here? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's relevant because we're talking about uh, the publishing industry. Oh, yes. And Tabby's yes, experience. Yes, yes, yes. She did say, look, there's a few small dominant players. And the minute it's like that, like a monopoly or oligopoly type of setup, it's a mess for, for everyone, mm -hmm. right? Because even the, the end user has limited choices, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like how she was saying the market for audio books in South Africa is small. Mm. And when she was saying that in the back of my mind, I was saying, but I listen to audiobooks. Like, I love audiobooks. Mm. 
They make it so much easier for me, you know. But I was like, maybe I must accept that I'm a, I'm part of a small group. But yeah. isn't there an opportunity for you to then educate, create demand in that market, and then be the one to say, like you know how Apple does. Apple will create its own demand, and then says, but here's a product. Okay. You know they got rid of the the earphone the, jack, the king thirty five millimeter, the triple ear, yeah. and then said, here's AirPods. Mm. Now AirPods are the best-selling earphones in the world. And they take some time. Yeah. No, no, no. Take same some... time. Or was it immediate? Immediate. Or they they created the problem and immediately came up with the solution. Same time. Same time. And same the year. solution's expensive, guys. <laughs> but it happened. And here's the thing with Apple, right? Mm, mm. Uh, before I got AirPods, mm. I tried generics. It's not going to work, my man. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Not it, well, it will Apple. work. It will yeah, not, work. Yeah. But not, not to the best. It's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna. Like, be, and then once you switch to their it's the version, same. it's not the same. Ah, dog, it's like it's premium. It's it's not the same. It's doing things. Ah. you know, even with the watches. Yes, I had a fitness watch now and I connected ah. to my iPhone. Ah. you were just counting ah. steps ah. <laughs> <laughs> You see, so maybe that's what I, that's what I was thinking when she was when I was listening to her speak. I was saying maybe. Maybe it's an opportunity then. Yeah. Because when you say people don't like audiobooks, do they know about them? How many people actually know about audiobooks? Do you think? I think people do. And they don't consume them. But maybe, I think anyone who buys books knows about audiobooks. And you already have that I think readers. That's already a captive market. You are trying to develop them. Remember, you're trying to say, there are people that say reading is not for me. I've never read a book since I left home. And that's how Audible is marketing itself in the US. You know, there's a service Audible. So it's not an alternative to... It is an alternative. Book. Well, uh, what you're saying is that don't try to steal book readers. Yes. Have a market there for we audio. Go. Like, exactly. For people that want knowledge. Remember, knowledge, books are one form of knowledge. So where a person's first encounter with a book is an audio one. There we go. Because Where they're like, you know what, I me mean, reading, yeah, sitting and reading like this. Uh, uh. But everyone commutes, as an example. Mm. You know? And when you commute and you, you can listen to the radio, the FM, mm. or you can listen to your own music, or you can listen to an audiobook. Mm. Anyway. But now your books need to compete with Gabza the Small. <laughs> you give yourself a problem. Now. It's fine, you but need then. Then Calvin Momo. <laughs> <laughs> No, but then that, that creates a challenge as well. To say, how yeah. do I make my books compete in, in the South African context? Mm -hmm. Given the fact that in South Africa, this is what people like to listen to. Yeah. Can That's you have an entire... With, with, with baddies there. <laughs> the sun rose. The sun rose. And you know, I'm thinking about it now. You know, Sizwem Pofu Welsh? Yeah. He had a book a couple of years ago. Okay. And with the book, he released an album, which was a companion piece to the book. An album... A like mu a musical. Yeah, I remember he used to rap. Or I, rap. I don't know if he still rap. I remember but. he used to rap with AKA, but I've... No, I, he released a book same time mm -hmm. as, the, as, as when he was releasing the book. He released a CD, a rap album that went with the book as a companion piece. So that's really one way. What is the book way. about? I don't know. I, I, I didn't read it. You didn't read it? I didn't read it. Okay. I, just, I just liked the concept. It stood out for me. because, And I wonder why. I wonder if he did it with, the, with his subsequent books. Mm. And if he didn't, why he would? Why he didn't? Maybe we must get him on the podcast. That's dope. Ne? That's dope, actually. Like, yeah. the, like the the <clears throat> like something like that that comes to mind is yes. Zola with the cell C SIM cards. Yeah, I understand. And yeah. that's that's, that's quite a way dope. for you. This is what I'm saying. You you can think about how to push audio books in a way that will work for South Africa. If you think that the traditional just release a book is not gonna work, mm. release something that's in the audio book that's not in the book. Yeah. Or that's something that'll entertain. Anyway, yeah. Does Susan Pofu Walsh write books for people who like rap? I wonder. Because, no, I do listen to his podcast. Um, okay, the SMWX. S SMWX. Yes. I think especially... That's the right thing to say. Especially after the death of Eusebius. Okay, okay. I think he... He's taken over. He's... The, well... I don't know for others, yeah, he's but a for me, I used to listen to him when maybe Eusebius was not releasing okay. for like some time. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. remember, to there was a time where he was off of 
yeah. radio before and he video, started video his radio yeah. they would bring uh-huh. I understand because they yeah oh so in your mind Vela Vela Silva became the replacement for you serious then <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened then. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. So in my mind, so I listen to him more now and I'm like, oh shit. Mm. He is actually quite brilliant. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, yo, then who did we touch on? We had uh, Tabi so Math. We had Tabi so We had the Women's Day series. Let's talk about that. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Look, I'm glad that we did that. Yeah. Right? Because and and we didn't make a, a big hoo-ha about it. Um but I'm glad that we did it because we got. Where else were we gonna get a mom influencer, for instance? Yes. You know, like, and I don't think I had even heard about. Well, mom, I had. There's uh, influencing, yes. I had heard about mom. Mom influencing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah mom influencing. Uh, yes. Because I was. You had mom influencing. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we we had a we used to have a friendship with. Oh with yes, one. yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. And but I don't think it's very mainstream. Yeah, no, no, no. I know there's influencers, of course, but people that specifically focus on the mom aspect of oh, it, yeah. which is, which is like an evergreen concept, right? Because, because you're always gonna get pregnant. You're always gonna be a mom, and oh, being yeah. a mom is gonna change. It'll right? evolve because you're gonna be a mom of a toddler. I mean, an infant, mm. a toddler, a kid, a primary schooler, a high schooler. A tertiary person, yeah. a young professional, yeah. a mid career, mid career. You are yes. a grandmother now. Do you understand? Because look at what AKA's mom sort of did. Mm-hmm. Um, she writes about being a grandmother to Cairo Munyani, but also about being a mom uh, to, to an adult. You know, this is what I'm saying. An adult, and it it's never stops. Dream. Like That's once you're a mom, you're a mom and the dynamics of being a mom are changing forever. Yeah. And then you start over again as a grandmother, which is also a new lane. now. There will be a grandfluence as too soon. And it's very different to other sorts, like other types of influencing. Yeah. The PBL can fall. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then now, now fashion over. <laughs> <laughs> But as a mom, <laughs> she knows it's not, it's not it's calling, it's not it's not calling anymore. anymore. <laughs> but you'll forever be a mom of yeah. a teenager because you can imagine how that, how many people are struggling as parents to teenagers. Mm. And if you are the one that somehow got it right, yeah, you know, people would want to know what's your secret. <laughs> <laughs> Catch it on my blog, you know. Yes, yes. So, ooh. and then what else is there? We had we had Farah who was um public relations. Yeah. That was also very interesting. That was dope. Because, and, and she was public, she was public relations more on the artist side. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> which sort of um, brought in a new element. I think we think, we thought about, when I think about public relations, if I thought I'd have a public relations person on the podcast, I thought they'd be public relations for companies, spin oh, doctor, spin, or, spin or even doctor. politics. <laughs> I think you used that term. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did. You know, or politics. Someone yeah. that comes and says, no, this is, you know, no, it, it's not, what you saw is not, what you it's not actually what it's, you saw. It's a fire pool. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a fire pool. It's a what is it? No, it's not a swimming pool. Oh, it's not a swimming it's pool. It's a fire pool. pool. It's a fire pool. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. So uh-huh. that was interesting. Yeah, hey, speak about your thoughts. And on I think Farah. with Farah also, it's how how much like elbow grease she has put in, Ooh, yes, her story. in her career. Like that, I'm um, fierce. You know, like that that nickname that she got, that pit bull in heels <laughs> thing. Like, you know how pit bull bites and it just doesn't let go. And I think we 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 needed that. You know, mm. maybe we, we needed that when we were inventing buzzers um, and inventing uh, uh, taxi billboards. Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> we needed someone to push us. We, 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 we needed we to be pit bulls. Then. We needed to be pit bulls. We should have known Farah then. We should have been Farah nice. then. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So, and then... <laughs> Namsha. Namsha. Oh, what a crazy story. She has a like, fantastic story she too. She has a beautiful story. She has a crazy Namsha story. Namsha is funny. Mm-hmm. And Namsha is um, is a very smart don't care. Yes. I yeah. Like, you're buying a GTI and you don't know how to drive. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I don't even never know never oh, never I mind. Like, license. I license. I'm going in. I'm like, I hey, have I have the money. I, I just want to. I want yes. the GTI. Well, this is actually how 
uh, how she was doing it in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. Um and the story as well. You know yeah. that the village girl. Yes. I get it is the is it proverbial. Mm-hmm. Village girl proverbial. comes to Josie, mm-hmm. starts doing this, starts doing that, mm-hmm. starts doing that and then nothing comes you, you know, but here's this village girl and the parents are like, "Hey, we've got a lot of other kids. I'm so See your Italy. way out, mm. you know." And, and she did it. And she saw It could have been out. an excuse. For someone else as to why they didn't make it in yeah, life. Yeah, my parents. You know, I had a lot of siblings. Yeah, a lot of siblings. But for her, it and and what I liked, what I liked most about Farah, and I think I said this in the episode, not Farah, man, Namsa, is the fact that she. This has become such a part of her identity. This pushing, despite how hard it is, okay. that she doesn't even recognize it. She doesn't even, you know, boast about it. Yeah, it's just seamlessly become a part of her life. She's not hashtag while you sleep, we cry. You understand? Yeah, She's not yeah. the, that, those type of people to say, yeah, ulele. And remember, I told you, I think I told you offline, she works out every day. Every day she's posting a video of her working out. Really? Yeah. I remember we were talking because and I, we have the same struggle with, <laughs> with weight, <laughs> you know? Yes, yes. And how, so Namcha is more your, well, she's your person. Mm-hmm. But because of logistics, mm-hmm. she came over to my place. Mm. Uh, and then we were just going to drive together because she was mm-hmm. taking her car to get service. And this is the mm-hmm. craziest thing. Namsha walks in, mm-hmm. um, greets me, hugs me, tells me that she is hungry, mm-hmm. opens the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> opens yeah. the fridge, yeah. takes out milk, yes. takes out OT. Yes. And then... Obviously, it's a shock to the system mm. because it's not the usual polite. Yeah, Kobani, 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 where's the, like, yeah. Okay, where's this? I'm like, oh, she's a coach. Super getter. comfortable. Yeah. my fridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's coach. <cooking. laughs> Look, yeah, I love Namsa for how. Ah, man, she doesn't. She's, she's so really, she's so comfortable yeah. being herself. A cool friend. Yeah. Turn. No, she is. You're, she so is. you're lucky but, to have her as a friend. Yeah. Ah, she, she can be your friend too, be. remember? Really? Yeah, yeah. Would yeah. you be fine with that? Oh, uh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah, even like contain it, even if I wanted to. <laughs> even if I wanted to, I couldn't keep it to myself. Mm-hmm. Who are we missing? Lerato. Lerato. The... Lerato's episode also did well, and I and I'm wondering if there's a. I was expecting that one to do well. You, if you were? Yeah. Why? Because you didn't let me down. Why? She's a recruitment specialist. Oh, okay, okay. We are okay. looking for jobs. I wonder, and I was thinking about it. I wonder if it was the recruitment specialist part of it or the IT part of it that made it do well? Because mm. IT, look, what I wanted to see, what, what I wanted to say to you earlier. We have two episodes, IT, and they are at the top. You understand? IT is, is such a data, I'm going to data, you have a software development, all of those. If you go to YouTube, I don't know if it's just my YouTube, mm-hmm. but you see like a ton of videos yeah you know yeah. this self you, you spoke about a self taught there are people that make videos about how they became they, they got a software engineering job from being a self taught program oh that's way on you. youtube yeah that's what i wanted to go with there's I've, i think i've seen a good five in south africa they so they say it's tough in south africa but in the u.s it's almost a thing it's almost a thing yeah it's a thing because even with what i do though i am self-taught Yes, yeah. there's a genuine conversation about. I think even Lebs, even though that episode didn't Lebs. Remember in the chat with Lebs, he said we spoke about how they were having a chat in his team, and they were talking about how is it necessary to go to university these days. Remember? No, Lebs actually said what he does. Yes, you can teach yourself. This is it, guy, guy, and yeah. it stands as good. Because all you need is certification, is what he said. Yeah. Hmm. You can go to coding boot camps. That's certification. Mm-hmm. You can do, there's an online course, Baraki CS50. It's a free 12 week Harvard course. So you are literally learning the same thing that Harvard students are learning at the same time that they are learning. And you get assignments and you get your assignments graded. And at the end of that 12 week, you get a certificate. Free, huh. absolutely free. All you need is access to the internet and obviously a computer to code. But they, it's but like a person, right? It sounds like you're selling the software. We are sponsored. 
Uh, so who sponsors are watching? Yeah, like, you're watching this <laughs> okay. we will sell you. Really? Yes, it's right. absolutely so a free course. Yeah. Free course. Twelve weeks. Your your assignments. That's that's the craziest thing for me, Hori. Yeah. Your assignments are graded because you can do the course. There's a lot of courses that are available online. Mm -hmm. You attend the class and then that's it. But there you actually get graded, and they start with. I think they start with. There's a graphic thing program called I think it's Scratch. Scratch. You start okay. with Scratch, and then you go back to C. Mm -hmm. Start with C, and then I think after C it's Python. And then by the end of it, you'll do CSS Java and... Then you can do Lego's job. I care, well, I guess. An element of it. An element. Yeah, because there's still an, 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 experience, an experience element to it. Remember, you can have the tools. Yeah. Let's, like we spoke about it. Remember we spoke about how mus musicians, yeah. Like a guitarist knows how to play the guitar, yeah. but they must know how to make music for them to be successful, yeah. So it's the same. Yeah. No, Lerato, yeah. I like Lerato's episode. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's because I like talking to her. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, she's your friend now. She's your. She's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I, her, so I really, really enjoy. And we hadn't seen each other in like your years. a while. Mm. Yeah. So in we, years. Yeah. Years. Crazy. We uh, met up some years ago. We had a beautiful, beautiful convo. And then you know, mm. in time. Mm, um, just, life life mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah i didn't speak for a while so okay. we were speaking the episode and i was like okay mm. and our guest don't want to leave oh. <laughs> <laughs> i think we're doing uh, we're doing a great job of, well, of, because, of, of, of hosting our guest yeah because what we've done differently and i know that the first 10 guests shame not even not be able to by 10. 10 no it's not 11. 10 it's 11. the first nine the first nine, nine, yeah, nine, yes, yeah, because after that we started doing catering, yeah. No, we used to cater, but it was fast food, yeah. It was like, you know, <laughs> it's they're eating, <laughs> my man. It's not like you come here and starve, right? It was pizzas and wings, yeah. You know, um, ever since then, it's been so some mess. of our improvements, uh off screen uh, <laughs> to keep our guests happy but to make sure that you guys get high quality guests because yeah yeah just make sure that you guys get high quality guests the best of the best so we have to do our part to marinate them mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. a bit you know and 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 the guests don't want to leave i guess don't we've had guests stay here until over 9 p.m <laughs> But it's fun because, because one of us leaves between the guests. Uh, I, I mean, uh, 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 oh, before the guests. Yeah. By one of us, you are referring to yourself. No, no, of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, I think because we've changed from a venue where we were, it wasn't ours. Remember, we were using, you know, another institution that had closed, that had operating hours. By five, you guys must be done. There was no, ah, you see, and there was no share. You see. So now that because we are in our own space, we can even have them stay longer. Because back then it was like, okay, we're over, pack up, let's leave. And then, you know, now it's like, ah, we're still chilling afterwards. So you can chill a bit if you like. Yeah. And they definitely like and because definitely the so chef makes sure that uh, they like. <laughs> <laughs> you're not missing any, right? From the Women's Day, no. Farah, Tabisot, Farah. Lerato, Namsa, and, and Untadile. Yes. Yeah, so we touched on Untadile. Yes. And then there was, oh, after the series, we. After the series, we had a uh, meth, which we spoke about. We had Mukertua. Yeah. Yes. Who was actually a great episode as well. Um, we did speak about Mukertua a bit, no? Yeah. I think we're said confusing we... it because we spoke about her behind the scenes. Oh, we spoke about it because yeah. I was sure that we were done with Mukertua. But I was like, oh no, we spoke about her. Before. Yes. Oh, the Mo yeah, hey, the Mukertua episode. We had some 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 production challenges there. Did you notice? Why did I remember this? Thing? Yeah, you clearly didn't notice. I wonder if any of you guys noticed. But at some point, my camera cut out. My angle cut out. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You remember? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, at some point my camera cut out and then it was just you and her and you, even when I was speaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I think I think then let's do a few questions. We don't actually have the questionable hair <laughs> here today, which is which is a palm Yeah, it's no one's fault. Yeah. 
<laughs> so for those of you who are watching for the first time, maybe the questionable hat is a hat we have that we put questions in. There's nothing wrong with the hat. It's a, it's a very nice hat. It's not questionable. It's not questionable at all. <laughs> <laughs> so these questions help you understand us better mm. and our journey better. So I think, Lesejo, um, what we should do is that you pick two questions okay. and then I'll pick two questions. Okay. Do you want to start or you want me to start? Uh, nah, start. Okay. I'll pick this one. Um how do we balance the need for preparation and structure mm-hmm. in our co- in our podcast with yeah so it's how, how do we balance the need for preparation and structure in our podcast with the sponti- uh, spontaneity and authenticity that makes yes. for engaging conversations which, yeah which makes for engaging conversations so we do i think we've found what we need to prepare and what we need to prepare for is almost never the conversation. We can have a few pointers, but what needs to be prepared is everything else, the things you guys don't see, the mic clips falling out, the load shedding schedules, the setting up, the lighting, the setting up the night before, but now when we record in uh, uh, in the sun, it doesn't look that good. It doesn't look the same. You know, so conversation, I think... Prepare, sleep, drink water, bring uh, bring a good relaxed mind. Yeah, yeah. I think again, our our guests are sometimes a bit nervous because a lot of them it's the first time they do something like this. Yeah, right. So we what we do is that we'll have a conversation. We'll so we'll we'll book out a time between the time that so we'll say be here from this time, right? But we know that we'll only start recording maybe an hour or 30 minutes after that. Yeah. Because in the time before we actually start the shooting, we, we, we chat with, we have a offline chat with our yeah. guests to sort of make things a bit more comfortable. Because sometimes they're a bit more, more nervous. And we saw it in our early episodes because we just jumped straight in. Oh, we were nervous we as well. <laughs> Even us, you're right. Yeah. It, and, and then, and then we, there'd be a lot of nervousness at the beginning of the episode, but we, we'll sort of ease into it. Yeah. Right. Now, and you guys would have noticed that when we start our episodes, it doesn't start with a, hi, welcome to 9 to Life. There's always like a conversation that's happening before. And you guys maybe will catch a minute or two of it, but it's been happening. Going for 20 <laughs> minutes. Some things cannot be shown. Yeah. So. so that helps. So that as well as sort of letting the conversation flow naturally, right? Yeah. We, whenever there's certain things that we were thinking about bringing back and certain things that we wanted to cover, then we'll have that question in the back somewhere where, but, but it's never, it, we almost, we almost sort of wait for it to come up in the conversation to say, ah, oh, mm. this is the perfect chance so that the conversation is also seamless and it, it doesn't feel like it's an interview. Yeah. I started writing notes. Yes. You uh, recently started writing notes I, as well. Yes, I started re- recently writing notes. Because your memory notes. is not. My, my memory is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> I didn't know you'd put it like that. <laughs> that was me putting it kindly. Yeah, but I wanted to well. use another. <laughs> you know, I had a client that was so worried about my memory. She yeah. bought me pills. Really? She memory bought me. Pill. What is it called? It's jojoba. It's some plot. That is crazy. It's some pills that you get at clicks. Do they work? Alboa, jojo. I don't remember. <laughs> Clearly, I'm kidding. They don't work. <laughs> they don't work. Ne? They don't work. <laughs> they don't work. Maybe it's a placebo. Yeah. And sometimes placebo is, is powerful. Placebo effect is powerful. Yeah. 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 You're like, oh, yeah. no, no, no. I took pills. I'm taking now. these things. Yeah. My, 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 my. yeah. But th- then the opposite is true for a pessimist because maybe okay. they are working. Oh, yeah. You know, true. but I stopped. True. I stopped taking them. Okay. Okay. That one. Yeah. Okay. That one. So. Yeah, I think we've sufficiently covered this one. Eh? Mm. Uh, yeah, I think, especially during... Ch- yeah, okay. Pick one. What were your earliest career aspirations and how have they changed over time? Yo. Woo. Yeah, ne? How early that was do a go bad back? question to pick. No, it's, it's a good question. We just need to know at what point because you might have career aspirations your early, earliest... in, early in, in childhood. Like mm. as a child, I think I spoke I about it. I think from grade eight, from high school. Ah, uh, from high school, I didn't, I didn't really know what I wanted to be. But I know at some point I was obsessed with being a doctor. 
Okay. And I don't know what got rid of that. Any patience, all right. <laughs> I would have been a great doctor. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's not me here. I think I would have been a great doctor, but I, I was obsessed with being a doctor. I love being a doctor. Yeah. I think it was more, now that I think about it now, actually, it was more, every parent wants their child to be a doctor, right? Yeah, it was very, it's very yeah, respected. I think, I think it was more that, more than it was what I wanted to do. Because you're the closest thing to God. Yo, what do you mean? The closest thing, like you can repair, like, you know, when people... Oh, are, as a doctor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I you with right? I'm thinking you're talking about me. I'm like, what? Okay, yeah, yes. As a doctor, you can repair import, very important machinery. People at church saying, restore, restore. You're ah, there, you're, you're, like, you're, uh, saying, uh, you're mixing am, chemicals. I am, no? I'm, I'm connecting. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm connecting the things. Yeah, but then, I guess varsity, it's obvious. I wanted to be an accountant. I wanted to be a CA. Okay. And then, yeah, and then as, as I grow up, it's like, not that I don't want to be a CA, but there's, we spoke about this in the Batubile episode to say Saika has, has done such a great job of marketing the CA profession that you think once you start on that path, there's nothing else for you. Like the only way to make it in life is to be a CA. Yeah. So the change then would be to say, no, there's other ways. You see, yeah. looking very fresh without being a CA. You know, the, the beard is glowing. <laughs> Yes, yeah. that's that's me. Yeah, so you? as you can see, guys, you don't need to be a CA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you think very well. All right, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. I I get you. What was it for you? Uh, for me, I wanted to be a pilot. I think you did speak about this. Yeah, Hanyan. briefly, very briefly. Yeah, I, I wanted to be a pilot, mm. um, but I was told about the financial investment. Mm, that your parents need to put in. Mm. And I wasn't about to join the army. Um, Why not? Because of the impression that I had of the army mm. at the time. And now that I'm older and I've got friends in the army. Information. And I'm guys. like, you are in the army. Information. Because I could have, you know, and, and that's why this is important. Mm. So I left it. You know? Are you done? So No, no. It's, yeah. Okay. So I left so. it. <laughs> when I was doing some research about what careers to do to have and start off um, with the podcast, the pilot came up and I did some searching on YouTube about uh, being a pilot. Mm. And I don't know if maybe I didn't search widely enough or maybe I misinterpreted what I saw. But what I saw is that the costs are not materially different to paying for a varsity qualification. In terms of There's costs. a girl, yes. Okay. There's a girl on YouTube. I, I'll i put her a name or a channel in the description. Mm. She she documented her journey of being a pilot. It, I think it's in the case of then. She, she, the way she spoke about the costs, I don't know if she downplayed them, but it wasn't crazy. Like, ah, oh, no, they, they paid 500000 for instance, right? That's what I thought. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It, it seems as if, because they say it's a lot of money, but when you contrast it to what paying normal varsity fees are in 2023, mm. I don't know if it's materially different. Because I think even the, the period that it takes for you to be a pilot is not as long as, like, for instance, being a doctor. Yeah. I think it's like three years or two years or something like that mm. for you to, to be a pilot from, from matric to pilot. It's, it's a couple of years. It's not like seven years or something like mm, that. Mm, you see? Mm. Well, then so, obviously you need to get certified on different planes and whatnot. Yes. But to be a pilot flying to your be small a, yes, craft. Like a Cessna. Or a, I think Cessna is the, is the most famous brand in there. Yeah. Cessna or something. Yeah. So I, I'd, I'd love to have that lady. I'd love to, to have a pilot on the show, actually, so we can discuss these things. Because I'd, those are the type of rumors that limit people from being pilots. Mm. You know, that sort of limited information where they think, ah, what do you pilot? Yeah. But you might find that actually, no, no, no. It's only 50000 a year, for instance. Mm. And I'm not saying only to say 15000 is not a lot of money, but yeah. relative for to, example. to a, to a VIT, for instance, 50000 is not that much. Mm. Or a Belgium campus. <laughs> <laughs> Belgium IT face it and they need to start paying us stuff. Yeah, you see. We mentioned their name. Yeah, yeah. so that's, yeah. Okay. Next question, eh? Mm -hmm. It's for me, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. What advice would you give to someone who is considering uh, starting? Oh, yeah. What advice would you give to someone considering 
starting, who's considering starting their own podcast based on our experiences and lessons learned? Yeah, I think um, don't. <laughs> um, just don't. We have a trend of, of guests discouraging people. Just from the watching. career. Yeah, yeah. yeah Chris Chris have you did it. with the book publisher? Chris so with Chris. Uh, that's well, really legit, yeah. Anyway, go on. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Uh, but if you're going to do it, shoo, what advice would, would I give? Research, research, research. Start with what you have. Mm. I think that is the biggest one. We wait for the time to be perfect, for everything to be perfect, to wait for the perfect cameras. Y'all should see what we're recording on. <laughs> Y'all can see what we're recording on. Don't expose us, my hey, friend. Hey, Don't expose you, us. You know? Um, and we are, yeah, it, and also it doesn't have to be expensive because also the thing with podcasts is what, who's that guy who used to talk like this and used to sweat celebrities, slick talk. Oh, slick talk. Yes. yes you yes, can yes. literally stand behind your old rope with your phone yeah, with your phone and, and, record, and record and then speak, 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 speak. You, you know, you, you can improve the quality as you go mm. um in terms of sponsors if you don't have a big name uh just f- forget about them use what you have you will see them later because th- i think there are people who, who start out with sponsors they are because i mean they already have a brand their name is big yeah. yeah they already have a name and now they are into podcasting whereas mm. you know for the vast majority of us we have to start from scratch yeah <sighs> for me I'd I'd go the opposite of what you said, actually. You'd say do it. I'd say do it. Okay. I'd say we need more podcasts. Yes. Mm. Because, and I think maybe that one limitation, one huge limitation is that people think what I'm interested in is not broad enough or something like that, right? When I speak mm. to people and then, because you speak to people and they're like, oh, when you tell them uh, you have a podcast, they're like, oh, you know, I once thought about doing a podcast on... um. There's a lady we met at the event a couple of weeks ago that we went to. It's the fine. financial? Yeah, she works in a financial services mm-hmm. company. She said she, 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 did, she did a show on, um, a, v, um, what is it, VR in South Africa. Okay. And she was like, but I don't think it's big enough. I'm like, no. I think someone interested. Do you understand? And it's not just in South Africa. That's the beauty of a podcast, right? Mm. You might be talking about it in the South African context, but spreading, but sharing what it's like here. We have viewers in, in Mauritius. We have viewers in Kenya. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. And and who's, who's that guy? Muzi Sambo. Sambo. Yeah. is a great example because he does car reviews. And how many car reviews are, are on YouTube? You know, he just, mm-hmm. he just does it and he mm-hmm. says for in Amzansi context, context mm. you know, and he has a, he has a huge growing He's audience now killing it you understand so i'd say do it i'd say if you have all you have now is a phone just take your phone sit on a in a quiet room and record we lack your podcast. content actually in south africa this is what i'm saying you always when you're searching for something that you're interested in a lot of times it'll be someone in america explaining it to you and i remember someone in europe explaining it to you mm, there was an industry specific question that i wanted yes and I couldn't find it anywhere online in the South African context. Exactly. And I found a lady on YouTube mm-hmm. that speaks about this. How exciting was And it's was just that? her. Yes. And it's just her. Yes. You know, and I need that. I mean, I can get it in the UK context, Easy. but you know, anxiety. <laughs> the, the <laughs> complexities yeah, that need to be taken into account. You know, yeah. especially with, yes. with what I was researching. Uh-huh. You know, and she actually had videos i'm happy that they were good quality mm. but imagine if she was the only one in a subpar quality mm. you, you know that's why it helps to have more people exactly doing we need it. more people yeah, doing it doing we different need, things we need to be building the community as well because you're right Linda, the other day i was searching for i think it was private equity in south africa mm-hmm. there isn't a wide range of information available about private equity in south africa and this is on youtube on Apple Podcast and on Spotify, that's where I looked. Mm. There's an episode here and there where someone does like maybe a business podcast yeah. and on that day they were focusing on private equity, mm. you know. Um, this computer um, science thing yeah. that I've, I've recently jumped into, you know, there's a, 
it's so exciting to find and you're always jumping into new things Brother. like if there's what you're a generalist we spoke about it we spoke yeah, about you're it. a generalist like and i, I jump like into that. something yeah I'll, I'll now i'm jumping into computer science i, I want I'm, i'm learning how to code okay uh, so I'm, i'm actually taking that course that that cs that cs course yeah it's 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 tough to find the time but i yeah it, my my interests are always wide i spoke about it right yeah. uh, so so when you saw someone that says i was searching for someone that that has done cs15 in south africa and yeah. i couldn't find someone hmm. i know people that use other sources to sort of self teach themselves how to program but yeah there were so many people from everywhere that said this is my experience of the cs50 course we don't have enough mm-hmm. south africans that that, that 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 speak about that information yeah okay. i think so i'd say definitely do it definitely do a podcast even if it's like a limited there's also limited series podcasts where it's not a long running thing it's like oh, a telenovela okay. yeah it, 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 i think that's a great example where it's one it's a series you do it for a season and that's it yeah you move on to the next topic we need we need a ton of information in south africa and we don't have enough of it so please do and it's in every form of content but even in like recipes right there's recipes Ooh. that you find like if you want to know how to make pasta for instance i don't know I'd what i'd love to know with ingredients that i can get at checkers at shop right you understand mm, like but the chefs have been more. giving us there so yes. much appreciated but we do need more we need more we do there's need there's more. meals that are also indigenous to certain areas of the country that like not indigenous but they are more Maso- Come on. Uh, Masonja is one. Mm. Masonja is one. Uh, I don't know if there is. There probably is a video on YouTube on, on, on Masonja. Yeah, there has to enough. be. But, but the, the point is there's, there's not enough content about us telling the world. Never mind telling. You'll tell us as South Africans because we also need to learn about each other's countries. But also the world wants to learn about South Africa and we need more people saying, this is my vision, this is my contribution. Mm. 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 And we're storytelling. Mm. you know and documenting and docu- remember they're saying a huge problem with how things are now and why a lot of us don't know our culture it's because it was never documented yeah they yeah. said a very small percentage of world history is documented, is documented. I, um i, I don't want to quote the the percentage mm. in in case i'm wrong mm. but i read somewhere there is very very little yeah so yeah is it my turn to ask or your it's your turn i'm done how do how do you stay motivated <laughs> and inspired so this is the last one this is the last question to continue <laughs> producing content for the podcast especially during challenging or busy times in our lives <laughs> that is a tough question because i don't have a a neat answer for it a neat answer yeah like i don't have a this is what i do this is what i do and this oh. is what i do, you see mm. but if i think about it for a second I think <laughs> there's a video that you sent me very early on. I think we were on episode 5 or something. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't talk about. It. There's a video that you sent. And basically that video, right? It talks about how we like to do things and expect immediate results. Yeah. And when results are not showing up early, we get discouraged. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then so the end of the video or the crux of the video is do your first 100 or whatever it of is that everything. you do everything so if it's let's say for instance you want to take up exercising yeah. exercise for 100 days yeah. then from 100 that's when you look at results until then just just keep exercising so i think i think we've adopted, we've adopted that right? <laughs> like no matter how terrible the views look, are we could have one like view in an episode that's not going to stop yeah, us we're like 100 <laughs> <laughs> that in itself is not going to stop us. So I think for me it's that it's it's taking a long term view. Mm. That there's nothing else and other than that. And that's actually better than do it until it pop. Because yeah. that one um what's that uh fallacy like the one that um Airbus had with the Concorde where because you put in 20 rand cost. sunk cost. Mm. So it's not that because this one has a limit. Mm. you know this one has a yeah, limit this one has a look if it's, yes if it doesn't work after 100 it's fine but uh, again it, and it says right even as you're doing the 100 don't just do 100 and close eyes right do 100 learn mm. right the 100 is more from the results point of view yeah to say you know the results that you want do the first 100 first before you start focusing on results results are important they motivate yes 
but <laughs> but the number stays but, at you the moment you open the fridge. <laughs> I wish there was a way where we can turn off numbers. Right. Wouldn't it be great if we could never see views? Just, yeah, just turn it off. But learn from, as because as you're doing something a hundred times. Like everyone, yeah. I'm by the hundredth time, by the hundredth time you're doing, you can't be committing the same mistakes that you did on episode five. Mm. Right. As you as you get to episode five, look at episode five and say, what can I improve here? <laughs> yeah, we're improve. still making mistakes. No, mistakes will always happen. <laughs> no, but the same mistake is a problem. Okay, yeah. Mistakes will mistakes will always happen, but the same mistake is the, the issue. So I think that's it for me. Um, adopting a long-term view uh, and underst- I guess also understanding why I started or reminding myself why I started this thing in the first place Yeah, always brings me out of a rut because sometimes work and everything gets so overwhelming Mm-hmm. Where you're like, I, I don't feel like editing today, right? But and, and also deadlines. Deadlines are important, guys. <laughs> I deadlines because we have a weekly release schedule. Should... Wednesday, three o'clock, the episode must come out. Yeah. So that means if by Tuesday night your episode is not out, Tuesday you are not sleeping until the episode is ready to come out. Mm-hmm. And so deadlines, deadlines, a uh, long-term view. And iterative approach. Yeah, to continuous <laughs> improvement, <That's> especially. Right. <laughs> I think, yeah, for me, it's it's you. Uh, <laughs> for me, it's you. Like that, that accountability. Uh, Having an accountability. Yeah. System. So because of my mental health, I go into a shell uh, quite a lot, and with. Elephant in the room with recent events. You, we, we all saw them. Um, with recent events, uh, it just became too much. It wasn't like normally. It wasn't like the normal uh, d- depression. Yeah, it was the VSOP. <laughs> a depression VSOP. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I think it's having an accountability person, you know, and. That's actually a lot of procrastinators as well. Mm. Um, a lot of procrastinators need accountability, and it helps if you if you're not accountable to a person who's also procrastinate because they'll be understanding. Or they'll be like, "Hey, yeah, as we ah, know, fairly in charge. Why no? We don't need to release on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, know? who said we must who release every Wednesday? 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 You, you, you know, yeah. So I think it's being self-aware about that as well. Mm. Um, that's why I. Even in business, I don't do business with people who have who have depression. Okay. Or because you know what it's like. Or, or no, because now we're both depressed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, no, with ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, I'm also crying. Yeah, I'm crying as well. Alright. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> no, I understand. I forget about that thing. Yeah. So. I do need to do better here. Um, yeah, I do need to do better here. <laughs> These questions are nice today. I really enjoyed them. Um, oh, they're nice. Yeah, they're nice. I thought I heard they're on ice. I'm like, what is this guy saying? Yeah, but that can be like, I can read the youth. The questions are on Because you remember how hot used to mean good? Now cold is good. Yes. So hot and cold mean the same thing. But hot. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that track is cold. But even. I remember a saying, but that's not hot. And they meant it wasn't. Oh, but I guess you're right. Because hot was good, right? Yeah, because this is, this is why I'm hot. I'm hot because I'm fly. You ate because you're not. <laughs> you know, and now it's, oh, it's cold. Mm. It's cold. Or maybe is it extremities? <laughs> yeah, as, as, long as, yeah, as long as it's not, you're not in the middle. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, the cold or you're hot. Uh, the youth are, are, are just messing us up. Yes. So, so yeah, this question, uh, Staying motivated is tough, guys. And I think, I mean, we read about it all the time to say motivation should not be the uh, driving force, mm. right? It shouldn't be motivation, but rather commitment, Yeah, which is tough. I don't know if it, if this question changes if we phrase it like that uh-huh. to say, how do you stay committed? Because motivation is, is, is a feeling-based situation. I feel motivated today. The day you feel motivated, that's when you're going to push to the max. Mm. But the day you don't, <laughs> it's like ish yeah you know huh hey anyway okay 
Should we? It's man alive. I think yeah. I think let's is there a it. question that you've uh, that you've identified that you want us to do? No, I mean all these questions are good, but mm. let's let's leave something for for the next episodes. <laughs> the next ten. Yeah. No, the, the next reflection piece will be. I think let's take some time mm. before we do the next one. Forty. Forty. Yeah. Forty. The next one is four or fifty. <laughs> forty or fifty, because fifty is a nice number, right? But forty is like. Some way, like, and they see us. Who sees us? Look, it's our, our guests. So it's uh, so it's not like there's there's episodes w- where where they don't see us. So maybe, oh yeah, in, like okay. about about it. So it's not like we, we're gonna be gone for for thirty episodes, mm. and I, we do speak quite a lot. Well, not a lot, but we do not speak. A lot. In the, guests speak, yeah, yeah, in the guest episodes as well. Mm. Um, so we'll do a poll. Uh, on on whether you guys want to see us, just the two of us, yeah. again anytime soon. Because I like these ones actually. I think these are my favorite <laughs> episodes. I like them because they they allow us to take in the work that we're doing. Remember, I spoke about in our very first episode. I'll get to know us. I spoke about my my limitation of sometimes not slowing down to appreciate, <laughs> to appreciate. yeah <laughs> what's happening you. right or to take it in. Mm. So these 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 episodes were intentionally built in so that we we don't fall in the same trap. Because we are at 20 episodes now. That's big. That's not most people start a podcast three days, three episodes ah, and no, then no, they're no, like no, no. Hey, we we you understand? Hey, we are on boom. 20 episodes now. Out. That's a lot. You see? So it's something that we, we need to every now and then stop and say, geez, 20, that's 20 weeks. And I don't know how many thousands of views that is mm-hmm. of people, you know, of us sharing our thoughts with our people, using our guests as a mechanism for that. So, yeah, we need to, we need to slow down every now and then. We need this. Mm. Mm. No. And on that note. On that <laughs> note. Thank, thank you, you for tuning into nine to life yeah for watching another reflective always willing to reflect with us um on this podcast but don't but don't forget the reflection we see is in the comments so please do comment it can be anything it can be you like lesejo's new haircut um our oh, white is ringing what is that like <laughs> our oh, white is ringing which <laughs> means it's not recording <laughs> yeah. Anyways, later. <laughs> it's not to lie. Okay. Uh,